Okay, folks, most of you know that we have been watching uh, this Hyder Flare and uh, coronal mass ejection that happened with it, one of the largest coronal mass ejections we've ever seen. Uh, but for those of you who have uh, asked questions like, oh, is this going to do something major? Uh, you have to realize that we think this is important because it's our magnetosphere's first uh, big test since these PC1 pulsations seen on the induction magnetometer. Now what these show is that our magnetosphere was in repair phase. Remember, the sun hadn't done anything to us in a very long time. It had a chance to, you know, get up, dust herself off, and, you know, when the PC1 pulsations died down, we figured, you know, she was good to go. Now this coronal mass ejection right here uh, just hit us this morning, uh, 7 or 8 o'clock universal time. You can see the solar wind speed uh, has been increasing. Uh, not much uh, going on with the density but uh, you can see it hit right there uh, and not a whole lot happened on our flux gate magnetometer uh, pretty much same time on the induction magnetometer so uh, she took it pretty well now what's interesting here is what hit us is not on uh, this right here it's not that first one that went past and that big one emanating out of the sun right now is uh, the very large one that's going to hit earlier next week that first one passed by uh, on the 26th uh, that was not what hit the Earth today. They didn't show the one that hit the Earth today on uh, on this map, and I'm kind of curious as to why. You know, this this is the coronal mass ejection that hit us today out of solar active region uh, 11354. Uh, this one, as you can see here, I mean, it it passes before the 27th, and this hydro flare here, it's not supposed to hit us until the uh, you know the 29th or the 30th uh, around that time. And so you could say, oh, well, maybe they didn't put it on there because you see, look, it, it must not have been a very big coronal mass ejection. See, it, it didn't do very much. And, oh, look, see, there wasn't a whole lot to look at right there. It, it must not have been very big. Well, I disagree. This is when it hit. And if you know anything about uh, this NICT model, this is uh, about as strong a pressure as you can have here. Uh, it hit pretty hard. Uh, and this, you know, the solar wind speed still increasing and our magnetosphere held up pretty well so that's a pretty good sign that uh, you know she she had dusted herself off and she has repaired now how she handles this coronal mass ejection is another story uh, so let's keep watching uh, see what happens over the next few days and uh, let's hope she's good to go be safe everyone